Once upon a time, back in 1995, I was unlucky enough to be diagnosed with two advanced cancer primaries, stage 2 breast cancer and stage 3C ovarian cancer. This was a girl who, at 52, had no family history of either of these cancers, and still don't. And in one year, I had the major surgery for the ovarian cancer, eight cycles of a three-drug protocol that was extremely toxic. And I believe that special treatment is why I'm here. Then I emerged successfully from that, had second-look surgery to make sure there was no new ovarian cancer growing. Then I went on to have a mastectomy for the breast cancer, and finally radiation. It was a heck of a year. But I'm here. I went 13 years, uh, many of those years involved with NCI and NIH and in cancer. I helped found the Ovarian Cancer National Alliance. In my 13th year of survivorship, uh-oh, routine colonoscopy, and there wrapped around my colon was ovarian cancer. The devil was back after 13 years. So I'm in treatment. I have been steadily in treatment. I can't tell you how miserable you can be in treatment. You know, the thing that's going to either save your life or not makes you miserable, even if you weren't sick from the cancer. And it isn't that way anymore. For the overwhelming majority of patients, reasonable levels of comfort and care can be had. I work full time. I run a $20 million organization with 12 staff and for 30 grants in the field. Uh, it's a very different world today for patients um, undergoing cancer treatment. Nope, we don't have a cure, but we have quality of life in a way we sure didn't back then. But it's the science, stupid. It is. What we're now seeing is some molecular pathways that are leading to the investigation of drugs and formularies that speak to the particular problem a given individual might have genetically. These targeted therapies make a huge difference in your quality of life and how well you do. That's massive. That's a major uh, turning point. I'm hoping I'll find one that works for me. Quite often when ovarian cancer recurs, it recurs more nastily than it's in the initial presentation and mine has. So these new pathways are of great interest. What's being examined is my tumor, not general theories, my tumor. And that's the future, that's the path of decision making.